So I've got this legacy challenge that I've been playing with for eight generations. Like at this point, I am extremely attached to these Sims. I've had the save for ages. And one of those Sims that's gonna be the next generation's like heir just aged up into a teen. And so they need a new bedroom. And I thought I might take you all along with me. Most of the build videos that I do on YouTube aren't even for actual Sims. They're just like kind of generic builds or like for Sims that I've made up in my head. So it's kind of fun for a change to do one for a Sim that I'm actually playing with. And like I said, my Sim Blue has literally just become a teen and I've been waiting for the high school pack to come out so that I could like properly decorate their bedroom and give them new outfits and stuff. So this here is blue. I'm gonna kindly ask that you ignore my eyeball ring. I um I couldn't help myself, but <laughs> these are all of their outfits. Uh, they have their everyday, their formal athletic, sleepwear, party wear, swimwear, hot weather, and cold weather. They are also neat, jealous, and into botany, which is interesting. The joke being that their name is is Bluebell, like the like the flower. Um, and they they want to grow plants. Do you do you get it? All of the Sims in this family kind of have like little plays on their name. Like this Sims mom's name is Pepper Bell, like like Bell Pepper, and and she's a chef. Anyway, as you can see, the room that we have right now from when we were a child is just not gonna cut it. So we definitely could use a bit of a makeover. It's also not like the biggest of bedrooms, but luckily we have a lot of money at this point. So budget isn't really a concern. I'm kind of wondering if I could steal any space in the roof, but it might be kind of obvious if we did that. We could at least give ourselves a little bit of a nook, I guess, if we wanted to put like a desk there or something. Although I don't know if I, if I actually want to do that or not. We'll have to see about that. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. There's a bunch of new rugs that came with high school years and there's also a bunch of new beds. So I think I want to base the whole room off of one of those things. Like this rug, for example, is kind of fun, but there's also just in general some really nice swatches. So we could totally base like the whole room off of this if we wanted to, but maybe the beds are an easier starting point because they've got such like funky swatches. I think this one's got some pretty good options. I really want this room to be blue and like full of plants, I think is what I'm going for. But otherwise I don't really have a plan. Like we'll kind of just figure it out as we go. Like for example, I really like that swatch. I think that's really cute. And I think that this bed kind of fits with the style of like the floor and the windows. But then there's like the floral swatch, which is also kind of fun. But is that like too on the nose? Cause their name is Bluebell. Like is, is it too on the nose to use some flowers? This might be better though. Cause it's got a little bit more color. Is there like a plain blue swatch? See, that's the thing. This blue swatch isn't like the same color. I want to use it, but it doesn't really match. What about you? Do you have anything good? Oh, there's eggs. <laughs> there's also like some cat swatches and stuff. There really are some fun rugs in this pack, aren't there? Ooh, that one's really nice. I wish that it wasn't so long. I really don't know what to use. Maybe if we paint the walls right now kind of as a starting point because I, I think we definitely should use blue wallpaper. We could probably put some curtains. Is it too like obvious to use blue curtains? <laughs> I don't know. I think the yellow is too bright. I don't think I like that swatch. The high school pack has some curtains, but they don't really fit. So that's annoying. Ooh, maybe that's okay. Cause that kind of matches the bed. All right, is this nightstand like super ridiculous? I know it doesn't like really match but I don't know what to use instead. The furniture in this pack is weird. <laughs> I don't know what looks good or not. Oh, wait a minute, this might be good. Cause this comes in like a brown color so we can kind of embrace the wood and then we can have like a hanging closet sort of vibe. I do not like the wood colors in here. <laughs> I do not like those wood colors at all. I know that those kind of match, but it's also not like my my favorite thing. You know, to be honest, I feel like a lot of the furniture that came with high school years is like kind of random. I know they were sort of trying to do that, like give us a bunch of options that look like maybe you've accumulated it over the years, but it's also so weird how like there's not really a furniture set that matches this bed. <laughs> like nothing matches the bed. Okay, I might I might get rid of that little um hole in the wall that we talked about. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to work. I think for me right now the rug is probably the biggest issue. Like I'm really just not sure what kind of rug to put in here and like the scale of it and all of that stuff. It's kind of throwing me. So, I mean, for example, I like this rug, but I think that looks ridiculous with the wallpaper. Like, I think we kind of need a bit more pattern in here, but a lot of the pattern options that we do have are like really patterned. <laughs> and so 
I, I just don't know how to find that like medium, right? Like I'm, I'm struggling to find the in-between. Oh, wait a minute. I wonder if this rug could be good. If we could like tie in some more of that yellow. We could even maybe use the yellow desk chair or is that weird? Maybe the blue is better. I think I kind of like that. Now I want like a low skinny table, even like that eco lifestyle bench looking thing. Cause basically I want to put like a, a line of plants underneath the window. Does that really not match like anything? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Great, but I'm kind of picturing them being like a real plant person So I want to just give them a bajillion plants in their bedroom There's a lot of like really cutesy Decor type of plants that we can add in extra as well Like even that one I sort of like how it's got like the pink and the blue and the yellow because it kind of matches the bed frame See now I'm kind of just trying to go through and pull out what would be good options for plants to keep in here I feel like that might be enough. We just have to kind of you know organize them in the best way Which is gonna require a lot of alt placing from us, but that's all right Right? Okay, I'm already off to a bad start because I put it in the wrong spot. So let me try this again. See, like I think this kind of vibe is gonna be perfect. I might just scoot that forward a little bit and then maybe we could put this tiny one in the front. Yeah, that fits. Maybe just scoot it forward a little bit more. Okay, maybe we could put that one there, that one there. Ooh, okay, wait, pause, pause, hang on, sorry. <laughs> This is so weird. Also, I have something kind of like this in my own living room, which is sort of where the inspiration is coming from. Like in my living room at home here, I've got like, you know, kind of like these, <laughs> these Ikea shelves, but it's the one high one. And I've got it underneath the windows like this and I just have plants all over it. So I am kind of taking inspiration from that right now. What if we size this down and put this cutesy one right here? Cause I really like this little one. I think it comes in like some adorable swatches, like the little pig planter. There's like a little dog version. All right, how does that look? Does that kind of give off the right vibes? I think it's fun how there's a couple little accents of pink on that too. Like I kind of like how there's a couple little pink leaves, but not a ton. Now I'm kind of leaning towards putting some of this like high school clutter underneath it because there's some really cute swatches of that. And I think that might be kind of a fun touch to make the room seem a bit lived in. Those books slot to like the weirdest spot. I don't really want them there. Like I kind of want them further over. I know they're sort of clipping into the wall, but like who's gonna, who's gonna see the corners, right? Just to ignore that. It's fine. Okay, they previously had a laptop and like I love the idea of this gaming setup, but if we're being realistic, does that even like really fit? No. I want it to. It's really cute, <laughs> but let's let's be honest with ourselves. It's it's kind of a bit big. Oh, but if I just scoot it into the wall a little bit, my little tiny plants still work. Oh, there we go. Blue backpack. See? <laughs> <laughs> Feels fitting. I put this mirror right here too, but I'm not really feeling like 100% sure about that. I'm wondering if I should raise it up and like have it mounted on the wall or if it's better leaning against the floor. I think I'm kind of leaning towards it's better up higher. Oh my gosh, we could probably get an extra version of that super cute little plant and we could put it on top of their desk. Cause there's so many swatches, like you could definitely reuse this and have it not be super obvious. We also sized it down on the plant shelf, so it's probably fine. You know, this thing is one of my favorite little tables I just feel like it's such a useful little item. I feel like we could probably get away with using that. I mean, I don't know. It definitely is a very different vibe furniture wise. Maybe it, maybe it does look kind of weird with the cork board there. That's if we even decide to use the cork board though. Like we don't have to. Are there any kind of like plant themed posters on this? I mean, there's the cow plants. <laughs> That's always an option. Let's leave that for a second. Oh, this one's really good. I feel like that has like the exact right vibes that we need for this space. I wonder if I could size down the cow plants and have them in the corner because I, I really do like the cow plant thing actually. <laughs> I think that's really good. I might also put a non-binary pride flag on this wall. I'm thinking we can kind of fill up like this whole area right here. So if we put something else below it, like, um, I don't know. <laughs> Are there any other posters or anything that could fit right there? There's definitely some cute posters. I just, I don't know if they're gonna be like odd, especially because it's like so behind everything else. Oh no. What does this one have? This cool kitchen one I always kind of forget exists. I mean, there's some kind of fun things. If we could find something sort of plant-like, like even this with the, like the blue and yellow and it's lemons, that kind of, that kind of works. <laughs> that might actually fit in the room really well. Like it kind of ties everything together. All right, question, how big is that cats and dogs calendar? All right, it would fit right here next to the door. So we could put that. I don't know if it being blue is like too obvious though. <laughs> Cause like everything's blue in here. Maybe it being yellow would be good. Cause there is a lot of yellow on this side, but not so much on this side. I think I'm gonna give them like some laundry type clutter. Obviously uh, fake 
laundry type clutter <laughs> because that's not a real laundry basket that functions like a laundry basket. That is the base game one. I prefer that because I am not trying to do laundry in this Let's Play. This is the thing. I, I love the idea of laundry in The Sims. Laundry, adorable super cute. Functionally though, extremely annoying. <laughs> like, it's just not for me. It's kind of buggy too, like I feel like you try and have your sims do laundry and they end up just like dropping the laundry on the floor and there's just piles everywhere and I- I don't know. It's- it's really just not for me. What is that? Why is that happening? Look at how that- what- what the heck? Stop! Stay- okay, stay. <laughs> Stop moving. Stay right there. I'm now thinking about getting some fairy lights? I don't know if I'm going overboard or not, so you're gonna have to stop me at, at a certain point. Oh wait, maybe I'll use these instead, because I was just thinking I would use the parenthood ones, because like, look at how cute those are, but also these ones with the pictures, I mean, who are those people? <laughs> I don't know them, <laughs> but we can pretend that we know them and we can hang up some lights by the bed. I sort of like that. I think that's kind of cute. I'm now feeling a little bit like maybe I need something above the desk. So maybe I will put the cow plant thing there and then we can just try and get like one more thing in this area. I know I've gone a little bit overboard, okay? I know it's a bit busy in here, <laughs> but maybe like some posters or what is this? Like crafts? Um, no, <laughs> no, I don't, I don't think this sims skateboards. Oh, this thing's got some interesting swatches. There's like a bunny and a chicken. We do have chickens in this house. They're all about to die. They're- they're- oh. <laughs> One of them literally just died. Uh, as you can see, Grim Reaper is here. Please ignore that. But maybe I will give myself um, some chickens. That seems like a nice touch. Is there anything like in my inventory that could be good? I don't think this is art that Blue made. Oh my god. Chelsea Bowen is from generation two. <laughs> Oh my god, this is gen 8. Um, we have this. I don't- I don't know if that's the vibes. We actually do have that lemon thing on this wall, so maybe, but let's see if Blue has anything in their inventory. Uh, you've got homework. We can sell your kid homework. Okay, that's a photo of you and a friend, which is a bit boring. Um, I won't lie. <laughs> That's no fun. Could you take a photo with like your mom or something? It's- it's urgent, please. Okay, right there in the kitchen. Oh my god, and Pepper is stinky. That- that is unfortunate. Okay, don't worry about it. I feel like the new selfies are so fun, but also like the- the camera angle is not so ideal. <laughs> Why do you look so sad? You good? No, wait, that one's perfect. This one better not be ugly. If there's like a gnome in that photo, I'm gonna be furious. <laughs> Was that the good one? Was that the good one? I think that was the good one. The rest of them they look sad in. Are you kidding? Take it again. No, <laughs> do it again. Don't walk away from me. Okay, I'm gonna take like five versions of this and hopefully at least one of them is good. There we go. Okay, we can sell the rest of those extras. I might just sell the bad ones too because let's be real, we don't need to put ourselves through that. I'm wondering if I've got a cork board anywhere that already has some stuff on it. Um, I don't think I do. Okay, do I not have any postcards then? I must have a corkboard somewhere, but whatever. I'll just- I'll just get a new one. <laughs> and then we can put the photos right next to it. I feel like that fills in the wall pretty well. This room is- is a lot. <laughs> I might even let myself go into debug, because I kind of want to get a couple of postcards just to put on this. Like, come on, Sunset Valley, Riverview? We can even just do two. Couple of base game postcards, nothing too fancy. And then we need to figure out the nightstand, because <laughs> I've been putting that off and it's very sad looking. I wonder if a different piece of furniture would look better because there's kind of like I guess a bit of a mid-century vibe going on furniture wise in here. And that one was like very traditional looking which I didn't really love. Although I don't really love any of these. Maybe even just like this one from the kids room. Ah why are the swatches like that? <laughs> oh no. That's a giant nightstand too. I guess we can fit more clutter on it that way so that's probably a good thing. Any good swatches on this one? There's a cute blue one. It's just a very small lamp. <laughs> I feel like I want a bigger lamp. No, like especially given the size of the nightstand, like I feel as though you sort of need a big lamp. Okay, I'm gonna use one of these plants again. I'm sorry to like duplicate it, but we can put the one with the pink swatch. So that might be kind of fun because it matches the bed a little. And maybe I'll get like a bookshelf or something. There is like little, we could even use this one with the bunny. Is that weird? The plant's a bit big. <laughs> I will admit the plant is leaning kind of on the large side, so maybe I won't use it. <laughs> maybe the plant's too much. And I guess if we scoot the nightstand like kind of far back into the wall, that helps a little. What on earth am I supposed to put here? Do I just put like a single plant right there? I don't know. Is this good? Is it cute? I think it's kind of cute. It should be totally functional too. I'm gonna have them come up here and like try and use everything. Do you want to come sleep in your bed? Congrats. There we go. Do you want to come write a book? 
Maybe? No, you can't write a book. Okay, good thing I play tested. Come on, surely you can. Sit. Sit. Okay, now practice writing. Oh, sometimes they do weird things like that. Like your sims can use the computer and then they just refuse to use the computer. So I think it's okay. I think this room is functional. Oh, it counts as having CC because of the photos. Oh, that is annoying. Well, I don't know how many of you are like actually gonna want to download this, but I'll put it up there just in case you so desire to use it. It is very specific to this sim though. And if you want to watch this legacy challenge, I can link the playlist for you at the end of this video. It's like 90 episodes, but we're kind of starting a new generation right now. Like because Blue has just become a teen and they're going to be the next heir, we're kind of like in the middle of a, a new series that's beginning. So it's a good time to start watching if you want to. Don't worry, you don't have to go back and like watch from the beginning. Even I forget about some of those sims at this point. <laughs> so don't feel like you missed out. You can just start watching from here on out if you want to. And on that note, I'm going to end this video right here. I know it's kind of weird to do room builds. I don't always do stuff like this, so I'm never sure if it's like gonna be good or not, but I hope that you enjoyed it anyway. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you all tomorrow. Okay. Bye everybody. You know what else? I am really excited to go to high school with Blue. I think because I'm so attached to these Sims, it's my first time playing the high school pack with Sims that I've been playing for this long. So it's just gonna be really fun for me.